we're going to talk about a lot of things. But first, I wanted to talk to you about Mr. Roy Hargrove. Um, you know, he he was one of the uh, really most influential trumpeters in my life. And I'm not just saying that. I remember, you know, my trumpet teacher in middle school from the time you knew me. Yeah. He compiled this uh, this album, this just like CD case of jazz artists that I have to listen to. And I remember Roy Hargrove's Diamond in the Rough being mm-hmm. one of the first mm-hmm. albums on there. And I, I was listening to that today. And so um, what influence did he have on you? Well, he was the most influential trumpet player for me. Yeah. Without a doubt. Yeah. You know, um, Miles Davis and Clifford Brown and Louis Armstrong, like they're the guys that are on Mount Rushmore, but Roy was always the guy who was like just far enough ahead of me generation wise where I could, I felt somewhat connected to him. Yeah. And um, also just musically, his his musical tastes and, and what he brought spoke more to me, um, especially with like the RH Factor stuff, how mm. he was combining mm. R&B and hip hop and stuff with jazz. And right. like that just... Im- you know, immediately spoke to me and, yeah. and yeah, I mean, from then on, I just dug more into his discography and like realized that's who I wanted to sound like. And that's who I wanted to be like. And, you know, from freshman year of high school, um, I knew that's like, this is, this is my guy. Like this yeah. is my trumpet hero. Yeah. So yeah, it's, it's crazy. Like, you know, we're, f- we're recording this and he passed away yesterday. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. Like, yeah. So it hasn't really hit me yet, but what he was forty nine, forty nine, yeah. That's super young, yeah. Man. Yeah, it's tragic. It's I tragic. mean, yeah. What? How did he? Do you know how he passed away? Yeah, he um he had a heart attack. At forty um, nine. Yeah, forty nine. He was battling health issues. He had kidney disease, and he uh he had drug issues in the past, and I think that's what the kidney disease came from, yeah. and just. You know, it's sort of a cautionary tale, like, you got to take care of yourself. You know, your health comes first. And he really had a lot of issues recently mm. because of choices that he made when he was younger. Um, but yeah, you know, regardless of all that, it's still a tragedy that, yeah. that he's like gone now and not yeah. able to like give us more music. But I mean, I didn't realize that he, so there's this whole genre called Neo Soul, mm-hmm. right? And that's like... D'Angelo, who I really, really love. Yeah. And I didn't realize that he contributed so much to his album, Voodoo. Yeah. You know, he even like wrote a whole freaking song. Yeah. Right? Yeah, Roy's and, like, all over that. Erica Badu. And these are people that I I would say I more recently discovered. I wasn't aware of them when I was in middle school. Mm-hmm. You know, when I was in middle school, it was all about jazz, 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 like yeah. Miles Davis and Clifford Brown. And, yeah, well, that was drilled into us. So. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but um, yeah, really a tragic loss. Yeah, 